Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is going to be a quick lesson on how to divide expressions involving exponents. So what we're going to do, the first page, I want you to take notes with me. Um, copy down the problems I'm going to show you. And then there'll be some problems for you to try. And then you can see how you did at the end. All right, so take a look at your notes here. And the first thing I want you to notice is this little diagram where we have a to the n divided by a to the m. And notice the bases are the same. So in this case, the bases are, are a's. All right, we'll talk more about this in a little bit. But let me just do one for you and see if you can catch on here. So here we have n to the fifth divided by n cubed. So if I expand this out, n to the fifth means n times n times n times n times n divided by, it's messy, n times n times n. Now every one of these n's is a factor, right? So you're allowed to cross off common factors. So we're going to cross off one set of common factors, another set of common factors, and then another set of common factors. So when we do that, notice that these two are left. Now take a look at this little diagram up here now, where we do n minus m. Well, according to that, if we do 5 minus 3, that will give us our 2, and there it is. So our simplified expression is going to be n squared. All right, let's take a look at the second one. Here we have 5a to the fifth divided by 15a squared. Well, the 5 and the 15, those aren't exponents. So we're just going to reduce those like a regular fraction. That's going to be 1 third. And now a to the fifth divided by a squared is going to be a cubed up on the top. So really, we can write this as just a cubed divided by 3. All right, example number 3. Here we have c to the fourth, d to the eighth, over d cubed c squared. So I'm first going to focus just on the c's here. All right, so there's four on the top and two on the bottom, which means there's going to be two on the top after we reduce those. And here we have a d to the eighth and d cubed, so it's going to be d to the fifth on top. And we can always write a one in the denominator if we want to. So the simplified expression is going to be c squared d to the fifth over one. All right, last but not least, example number four, we have h to the third over h to the seventh. Now this time, if, again, if, if I draw this out, it's going to be h times h times h over seven h's, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, these will cancel out. So really, we're going to have one on top, and there's going to be four more left on the bottom. So it's going to be h to the fourth. So 1 over h to the fourth is the simplified expression. All right, now that you know how to do this, I want you to try the problems on your own on the next page of your notes, and then hit play again, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, let's see how you did with these practice problems. So the first one you had b to the eighth, uh, divided by uh, b to the fifth. So this is going to just be a b to the third on the top and then over one. So that's a three right there. All right, the next one, 16x to the fifth over 8x to the fourth. Again, the 16 and the eight, those are those numbers. So that's going to reduce down to two over one. And then x to the fifth divided by x to the fourth, well, there's going to be one x up on the top. So that's going to just equal 2x. Or you could leave it as 2x over 1. It's the same thing. All right, number three, we have p to the eighth, z to the fourth, over z squared, uh, p to the tenth. So I'm going to first focus on the p's. And notice that there's two more on the bottom than the, the, the top. So we're going to have a p squared on the bottom. And then we have a z to the fourth on the top and a z squared on the bottom. So there's two more on the top. So it's going to be z squared on the top. So it's z squared over p squared. All right, number four, we have negative 6t to the 90th power over negative 30t to the 80th power. So again, I'm first going to focus on the negative 6 over negative 30. So we know a negative divided by a negative is a positive. And 6 30th reduces down to 1 5th. Now let's focus on the exponents. So again, we have like bases, the t and the t, right? 
So th there's 90 on the top and 88 on the bottom. So there's two more on the top than on the bottom. So it's going to be t squared. So we could write this as t squared over 5. And there it is. All right. How'd you do?